The tree assessment identified a danger tree. Now what? Is it safe to leave the danger tree? Or should it be removed before working in the immediate area? A danger tree is defined as a tree that is a hazard to a worker due to any combination of the following conditions. Its location or lean, its physical damage, overhead conditions, deterioration of its limbs, stem, or root system, or any combination of the conditions listed above. A 360 degree systematic assessment of the tree is done to determine if it is sound or if it has defects that potentially make it a danger tree. The tree assessment should be completed the same way every time, either top to bottom or bottom to top. By doing this assessment the same way every single time, you establish your own systematic approach for each tree you assess. It allows you to identify hazards or potential hazards and deal with them accordingly. It is very important to remember that not all danger trees need to be felled immediately or even at all. When a danger tree is identified, it is up to the faller to determine if the tree can be safely felled. And if not, then use alternate means to fall the tree, such as blasting, machine assist, or establish a no-work zone. To create a no-work zone, use ribbon to mark out an area that is one and a half times the length of the tree. Flag a detour outside the hazard area, notify your supervisor and any affected workers, and add the no-work zone to the block map. If the danger tree is outside of the boundary line and is not a hazard to you or anyone coming into the area after you, you can identify it, but there is no need to fall it. Report it to your supervisor so that he can mark it on the map and pass that information on to the next phase. If you decide that the danger tree needs to be felled immediately, you must determine if it can be felled safely, if a no work zone needs to be established, or if the danger tree is to be felled by alternate means, such as blasting or machine assist. If it can be felled safely, ensure that you follow the safe work procedures for that hazard. Refer to your BC Fowler Training Standard Info Flips. Stick to the Recognize, Evaluate, Control process and you'll come home safe.